Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another video. In this one, I will show you an awesome Android login template built with Jetpack Compose and MVVM architecture. I have already covered login systems before, but Android development has changed a lot in recent years. So I decided to create an updated code sample. Now this is my project, it is called Jet Auth, and you will get the link to the repository in the description of this video. Now inside this project, I am using Jetpack Compose for UI as you can see the login preview here. I am using Hilt for dependency injection. And in this project for network calls, I am not using Retrofit but I am using Ktor Android Client. I am also using Gradle version catalogs. And I am using OAuth with access and refresh tokens for login. Now first, let's check the application. So I will just run the application. You can also do the same, just clone the project and run it. And you can see it is the login screen. And here I can login. So I will enter username and password. and it logs in. You can also log out and it logs out. So it is working absolutely fine. Right now in this project only the login feature is implemented. Sign up is missing but you can easily add it yourself since the core structure is ready. So adding sign up is very easy. In this project I have used state and event pattern. So if you go to commons package and if you open this file that is called event state view model, then it is an abstract class where you need to define the state and the event. So whenever you want to create a view model that will work on state and event, you can inherit this abstract class. For handling events, I created an interface that helps send events properly. When binding events in your state, there are multiple things to take care of. So I separated state and events. For example, when the login is successful, I need to receive an event so that I can navigate user to home screen. So that's why I have created a separate view model events. Now this is an interface and with the help of this function that is called send event, I will send events like these so that I do not need to bind the events with the state. For example, you might already been using login successful in the sealed class as an object. That is an event, but you bind it with your state. Now this approach is very problematic. I will explain it in detail in some other video. Now we have event, we have state and we also have a network layer. So if you go to network, then here I have created this HTTP client builder and with the help of this builder, you can create your HTTP client. This class also have this function that is refresh token and I also have my token manager that I'm using to save token and retrieve token. I also have this network result where I am getting the data from the API and this class handles all the errors and success scenarios. Now I have also created use cases. For example, when logging out, I am clearing the token from token manager. And for every UI, I have view model data that have the events and the state. So I have separate event and separate state and I have view model and I have the composable UI. So this is the pattern I am following in this project. For example, if you go to login, this is the auth package and inside auth, I have login view. I have login view model and I also have login view model data. Now just clone the project from GitHub, take a look and let me know if you have any suggestions for improvements. And don't forget to start the repository and drop a comment if you have any questions.
So the code base is little big of this project. So if you are having any confusion understanding any part of the code, let me know in the comments and I will create a video to explain that part. So thanks for watching. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.